So hopefully things change around here. We have a new mayor. The people in the city of Revere that are in charge are trying to keep this quiet about this contaminated land. How long have you lived here? I understand you live in the building just to the left since, over here. Since 1972. I see. And during that time, since well, in those 40 years, have you uh, had reason to come to believe that there was uh, hazardous substances on this property? Yes. I knew it was Gibbs Oil when I moved here. I saw the gas tank in the... I saw the gas pump inside the building. So therefore, it tells me this gas gas tank underneath the ground. The floor has never been broken up since I've moved here. I see. Until the owner that bought the building before the developers has the monetary means to have this done. The federal EPA should step into this. I think so too. Absolutely. Well, as you know, it wasn't far from here, 10 miles away, a civil action up in Woburn. Yeah, I, was, I heard about that. Yeah. The door over there is where the tank is. Not this door, this door yes. over here. Let me ask you this. Did uh, were you, did you ever discuss this matter with any lawyers before you filed your appeal in court? You talked to Ace. Oh yeah, Stacy Rubin. Okay, and did Ms. Rubin ever indicate to you that she had documentation supporting yes, she your... Did. She did. We tried to get documentation from the city. We got the development plans. When she went to, to get paperwork, she has more pull and can get more paperwork in Boston than from the city. So she, she told him she got documents. And were these documents indicating that Gibbs Oil used to be? That's what yes. she said. Yes, she said that she could get prove that Gibbs Oil was there. There was documentation in town. And what did you hear from her on that? <laughs> Last What'd fall? What did she say? About what a month ago. Say, what did she tell you about the documents and that, what she was going to do? That she had them and she was going to give them to me. Is that right? Yeah. Did we see and them yet? Nope. Interesting. But you got a letter from her just yesterday saying that she was uh, probably not going to be able to help you, right? Correct. Almost like she's backing out now. But she's already gotten it. The developers have already contacted her. And then all of a sudden now I'm receiving this letter. Something's not right. I saw a bunch of guys running out of there with orange shirts on. Right. You Don't they have to give a notice to a butters when they're doing a 21 Yes, they do. Did you get a notice? No. no. They never notified anybody of anything. Right. Before this project was even, they are supposed to have a project meeting before they even start designing anything or putting anything together, and they never did that either. I'm highly disturbed by that. I was a zoning manager for a couple of certain wireless company here in, North, in New England, and I'm very well aware of the issues that are, you know, surround uh, building on, on well, contaminated also, land. Are you familiar with any contamination going on at 525 Beach Street in that building there? No, I have no comment on it. But are you aware of any contamination? The cement cylinders that were dropped off by a flatbed when Jerry owned the building, I believe, were illegally put in that space where that tank was. And I also witnessed a big yellow dumpster being carted out of this garage. From the other side over here. Right, from the other side. And I believe all the events that led up to this tank being removed out of this ground was done without permits, without the right EPA guidelines, with, without anything. I mean, and it all has to be done properly. You called me three times already. <laughs> and that was it. Hey, I'll take All right. you out. Alright, take it in, Paul. You a lawyer calling you? Yeah. What kind of lawyer? Uh, lawyer for the developers, I'm sure. And he was saying what? He was asking me if uh what well what will it take? Uh, what can we give you, um, you know, make up a list, um, think about it, I'll call you back. And he's called, three times he called me yesterday, I told him he was bordering on harassment. 
and he's just not doing anything. He knows this land's contaminated. He has to know. Everybody in the city has that's of that age has to know what was there at that facility. You know, it, it's just it's unreal that the people in the city of Revere that are in charge are trying to keep this quiet about this contaminated land and that it's not being done the right way. If it was done the right way, there would have been state EPA guys out there and I would have seen state EPA guys. Um, unfortunately, you know, when you hire your own private firms to do things like that, they usually do things the way you want them because you're paying them. So are you Ira Novoleski? Yes. I was just wondering, are you familiar with any contamination going on at 525 Beach Street in that building there? I have no comment on that. No comment on that. Contamination, sir. Has the EPA done a study or anything of that nature? Do you know? Sir? I said, no, I'm not against senior housing, but I am against it being built on contaminated land, and nobody wanted to pay no mind to it. No, but what are you going to do? That's, that's revered. You know, hopefully things, hopefully things change around here. We have a new mayor. Hopefully things change around here and they're not run the same that they've been run for the past decades. Has the EPA done a study? I saw, I saw a bunch of guys running out of there with orange shirts on. Right. Don't they have to give a notice to a butters when they're doing a 21 -8? Yes, they do. Did you get a notice? No. no. They never notified anybody of anything. Right. Before this project was even, they are supposed to have a project meeting before they even start designing anything or putting anything together, and they never did that either. I'm highly disturbed by that. I was a zoning manager for a couple of a certain wireless company here in, North, in New England, and I'm very well aware of the issues that are, you know, surround building on, on well, contaminated land. We also land. Have, to have the trees that are protected by the Clean Air Act. And because it would be serious if there was contamination there. I mean, that would. I mean, if, gonna, if they're going to build on that, that'd be pretty serious, right? Just in time today. Hello, how are Hi. you? Good. How can I help you?